All right, this is first grade module two, lesson four. And in this lesson, we are going to continue making 10 when one of the add ins is nine. It's a, a particular strategy where we want to uh, teach the students a variety of strategies. And this is one strategy where we want them to take, uh, decompose a number in order to make a nice benchmark number. 10 is our nice landmark benchmark number. And so we're going to continue practicing that. What makes this lesson different from the previous lesson is uh, how we represent that, how we represent and show it on the paper, uh, what's going on. In the previous lesson, uh, we were using it pictorially with pic uh, like cubes. Now we're going to be using number bonds, which is a little bit more abstract for our students, and we're going to connect the two. Teachers, for uh, differentiation purposes, if some of your students still need those manipulatives, by all means, let them use their manipulatives. Um, let's get started. So we're being asked to make math drawings using the 10 frame to show how you make the 10 and then solve. So what's going on is this is our representation for the 10 frame. And unfortunately, they don't, it doesn't, I would, I would prefer if we could actually see the 10 frame. So teachers, uh, you may want to modify this, right? So we're going to demonstrate and we're going to show the actual 10 frame here. And then, uh, essentially, what we want students to do is to recognize that 9 plus 6 can be modeled, represented using 10 frames, as this. So they're going to see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's our 9. And then the 6 would be um, over here. So they're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then six. So really, we really should have two 10 frames here, shouldn't we? So anyway, but the thing is, what's, what we want students to see is, okay, so we've modeled nine plus six, all right? So that's that. But what's, what's with this number bond business? Well, this number bond business is representing the fact that we could take one of these dots and move it over here to finish the 10 frame, to fill in the 10 frame. So the idea is we're taking one from the six, we're taking the six and breaking it apart into one plus five. All right, and that's important because we want to fill in our 10 frame. So how are we going to record that over here in our number bond? Well, we're going to say this is a one plus five. And then we can say, oh, here is our 10. And so we're going to record over here. We're going to say, oh, that's the same thing as 10 plus 5, which is 15. And we want students to recognize, oh, yeah, 10 plus 5 is our 15. All right, so that's the big thing about what's going on here. Now, parents and teachers, don't freak out if all these steps is a little overwhelming to your students. The purpose of this is to help our students understand that numbers, in this case, it was a six, right? In this case, it was a six. S numbers can be decomposed and broken apart to make our lives easier. We want students to be in charge of breaking down the numbers instead of the numbers breaking down our kids. So here's another example. What's tricky here is we've swapped the numbers, right? We Now the 9 is in the back instead of the 9 being in the front. But it's the exact same idea. So we are going to, first we're going to, I I really prefer seeing the 10 frame here. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm happy. Now we can model it, and we're going to say, well, let's model the 9. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now let's model the 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. All right, so now there's our, our 9 plus 7. And this is a nice opportunity to say, well, 7 plus 9 and 9 plus 7 are the same thing. It, it, they're equivalent. Um, that's the commutative property, and you're certainly allowed to use that word with your first graders. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to start with a 7, and then we're going to say, now what are we going to do? Well, let's finish out our 10 frame. 
All right, so that seven, what used to be seven is now one plus six. All right, so we're gonna record that over here. One plus six. <laughs> I forgot to change the size of my pen. Oh, that's goofy. So anyway, now what do we have here? Now, I put one plus six. It might have been nicer to put six plus one, but that's okay. We're not gonna, we're not gonna sweat the small stuff here. So what does that mean? Where's our 10? Well, nine plus one is our 10. And then we have a six left over. So that's gonna be 10 plus six. Uh, teachers, you may have kind of painted yourself into a corner where yours would be six plus 10, and that would be perfectly fine also. Right? It doesn't matter. And so, of course, the answer is 16. So parents and teachers, what are we doing here? What we want to show is that we could take numbers, in this case 7, and break them apart so that we can create nice benchmark numbers, so that we can fill out the 10 frame. So in this case, it used to be, yikes, right here. Whoa, move over. Okay, it used to be, uh, let's see. 9 plus 7, but once we modify and use that decomposition, it becomes 10 plus 6, and that's, of course, the, a nice little strategy. Now, I chose this problem just to show you. It's kind of a funky question, and I, wanna, I want you math teachers and parents to focus on the math, not on how to solve the question. Like, what is the question about? Um, I want you to focus on what is the math about. And so the idea is what we want students to do is kind of think about how would they solve this problem. Oh, they would decompose the 8 to be 1 and 7, and there's our 10, and so our answer is 17. All right, 10 plus 7 is 17. The idea is we want to match the number sentence with the number bond, and so this guy goes with this number bond. And then let's, uh, let's take a look at question B. So question B, we would take that 6 and we would decompose it to be 1 and 5 so that there is our 10. So 10 plus 5 is 15. So, oh, let's use black. So this one goes with this number bond. And then lastly, what would we do here? Oh, 7, we would decompose it to be 6 and 1. There's our 10. So 10 plus 6 is 16. And so, oh, let's use green because it's pretty. And then so this goes with this number bond right there. All right, parents and teachers, I went through that really quick because really this slide is specifically so that the adults know what the directions are asking kids to do, and now you can support your kids accordingly. And similarly, I thought, well, let's, let's uh, show this just because the directions might be a little funky. Um, you know, this is not the way we were taught math back in the day. So what they're asking is to take your 9 plus 2, in this case, decompose it the way that makes sense. Well, we need a 1 and a 1 so that we can make a 10. And, and then down here, uh, oops, down here, down here is where we're representing the 1 plus the 1 right here. Okay, so let's do that up here. So what are we going to do? We have a 9 and we have a 4. We want to make a 10. So that's going to be a 1 and a 3. There's our 10. All right. So what they want us to do is to model that down here. So I'm going to do that in blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's our 9. And then they want us to model the 4, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. But really, they don't want us to model the 4. What they want us to do is move one of those over here to represent the 9, that's the blue, the one, that's this guy red, and the three, which are the outsiders. All right, and that's how we could represent. Um, the answer is 13, so we have 10 plus three is 13. That's a big thing in first grade with Common Core, is the fact that we don't want to call, we want to point out to our, our kiddos that 13 is really a 10 plus 
three ones. That's really what we want students to understand, is that 13 is a 10 plus some ones. And in this case, it's three ones, right? And the last one, real quick, just because we can and it, we have time, um, we're going to model that 6 plus 9 right here. And so we're going to start by representing 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And remember, parents and teachers, we're not just arbitrarily throwing in the dots in here. We're specifically doing a row of 5 and a row of 4 to represent our 9. And now we're going to represent our 6. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we're going to take that 1 and we're going to move it over. And so now how are we going to represent this using our number bond? Well, we're going to say that that 9 becomes, I mean, that 6 becomes a 1 plus a 5, or 5 plus a 1, and then there's our 10. So we have 10 plus 5. So that wraps up, uh, let's see, first grade, module 2, lesson 4, where we are making a 10 when one of the add-ins is 9. For example, 9 plus 7, we take that 7, we decompose it to 1 and 6, and now we have our 10, and so the answer is obviously 16.